most of us think, oh, I wish that thing would be available in The Sims. And a few of us actually make it available. Hey guys, in this video, I will show a few functional mods for The Sims 2, which I find absolutely amazing. My name is Clau and welcome back to Cozy Pixels. So what do I mean by functional mods? By functional mods, most of the time we mean an object or a mod that brings a totally new functionality into the game. And in this video, I try to collect a few and uh, most of them bring a totally new capability into the game, but I included a few objects which just uh, revamp and uh, make a few in-game actions available in different places. So let's just start. The first one is the fish and fruit stacking station and as the name suggests it allows you to stack into boxes all the fish and fruit your sim gathers and I think it's super cool because recently I started to play with Lloyd McGregor and in my game he opened a little shop selling fish and vegetables uh, that he grows in the garden and by default you can only place the fish and vegetables one by one by default in the game and with this one you can put them into boxes and sell them like that you need six fish of the same type to be able to make a box under that you will receive an error message saying that you don't have enough fish to fill a complete box of fish and the same thing with the fruits and after you catch six of the same fish you can put them into the boxes and sell them in your own business i find it very useful and i think it's a really nice opportunity if someone plays open for business a lot and as someone who do i am super grateful for this one the second one is the sim life goggles which is a conversion from sims 3 i plan to make a separate video on uh, all the types of conversions that add new functionality into the sims 2 but i wanted to include this one here because i think it's super great it's basically a vr headset which allows your sims to play different type of games and increase their skills while doing so and the different type of games can increase different uh, type of skills and they all have different animations so i think it's super cool and it's a really nice addition and it raises fun because it's a game after all the next one is the waterfall shower and as the name suggests it basically gives you an object which looks like a waterfall and your sims can shower under it but it also adds a new functionality called cool down and what it does is basically if it's in the summer and your sims are really hot they can go under the waterfall and cool down and it has different animations and i think it's super cool you have to pay attention to the placement of the waterfall because it also includes a little pool of water at the bottom of it so a little terraforming might be needed but nothing that needs any kind of advanced knowledge about terraforming in the sims 2. The fourth one is the inflatable pool and this is one of the objects that uh, basically reholds an already existing object in the game but I think this inflatable pool was a part of all of our lives at some point and I'm super happy that it's now in the sims and it's also cheaper than a regular hot tub so if your sims uh, want to buy a hot tub you don't have to spend fortunes on it and i think it's a super fun addition to the backyard of the sims i can also see the for example like the broke family having one of these instead of the big expensive pool they already have next one is another pool but this time it's a toddler pool and basically what it is it assigns the animation to the object when the toddlers play in puddles but this time they play in a little kiddie pool and it's much nicer because they are not playing in the trash but it also increases fun so i recommend trying it out i have it in my game and it's super cool the toddlers have something fun they can do by themselves and maybe this way they will stop playing with the toilets all the time sixth one is the sofa bed and i love this one i actually have two types of sofa bed in my game and this is one of them the collapsible version basically what it does is that it takes the ikea couches from the ikea stuff bag and makes it available that you can fold and unfold them when your sims needs it one thing is that you can only unfold the couch when your sims energy needs are low enough so they can sleep in the bed but you can fold it anytime it works with multiple ikea couches but it is a separate object from the original ones from the stuff bag so when you are trying to buy them make sure that the item name says sofa bed because otherwise with the regular actorp or mom couch it won't work the next one i love it so much they are leathers in the sims 2 and basically 
they do what leathers do they have such nice animations it only takes up two tiles one for the leather and one for the arriving sim so basically you can place it into very small spaces and it's very compact really i can only recommend you to get this one because it opens up a lot of building possibilities now let me introduce you to the woodworking bench which is a sims 4 conversion by the lovely dd sims this is the second conversion in this video but i thought this is just super detailed and super well made that it has to be included in this one what it does is basically you can craft multiple wood items with it. a lot of them functional and decorative items as well based on your mechanical skill and the amount of woodworking your sim already did so from little cat statues up to jacuzzis your sim can craft themselves anything it works super well so i recommend trying it out i think it's a super opportunity if you want your sims to open a business and sell the things they craft themselves after this a very similar one is the sculpture factory works basically the same way as the woodworking bench but this time your sims can carve out statues from a marble block and it takes much much longer than the woodworking but sims gain mechanical skills while doing this and the animation is super cool i love to see how as you progress the marble just falls down more and more so i super love it and the sculptures are very expensive because even the cheapest one and the smallest one costs you 500 simoleons and the selling price is 1200 so it's a nice way to make money although it takes a bit longer than the woodworking our 10th functional mod is the pumpkin carving station which is a totally new functionality in this game for this to work you will need another mod which gives you several garden plants and the pumpkin included and i link that in the description as well so before you can start carving pumpkins you need a pumpkin in your sims inventory which you can plant and harvest in your garden just as any regular in-game plants and after you have that you click on the pumpkin carving station and you have lots and lots and lots of options on which type of pumpkin do you want to carve in this video i carved a silly pumpkin and after it's done and you put the pumpkin down your sims react in different ways to each and every type of pumpkins for example the scary pumpkin scares the sims and um, as you can see in the video the silly pumpkin makes them laugh i think it's a super neat addition to the game it's a nice activity for your sims to do around halloween time because we already have halloween decorations from the christmas pack but it's also a nice activity the next one is a bit different from the previous ones it's called the shooting range and yes this is a whole functional shooting range for your sims when you use the shooting range your sims change and uh, equip the necessary protecting gear they wear ear protectors and um, sunglasses to protect their eyes and start shooting at the target that um, is provided with the shooting range the range also increases mechanical skill points and sports hobby interest so i think it's a super cool item the animation is nice although i can see that the sims are not even trying to shoot at the middle of the target but hey it's for the funs the next one is very similar it's an archery set just as the shooting range basically you are provided here with a target and your sims from the given distance can start shooting their arrows on the target there are multiple variations in the set as you can see and there are different actions for each of them for example in one of them you can even set what type of bow you want your sim to shoot with and you can see that sometimes they fail with the shooting and sometimes they hit the target and they have animations and reactions according if they reach the target or not i think it's very detailed and very fun i can totally see myself using this in like teen summer camps or renaissance fairs so i am super happy with it and i think it's really amazing that these type of mods can be made for the sims and the last mod in the list which i super love is a functional chicken coop and it's by sun moon star factory as a few of the other mods in this video i highly recommend you guys to check out their work because besides this chicken coop they have other farm animals related uh, functional mods which are super detailed and super cool just like this chicken one basically it has three objects one of them is the chicken coop itself there is an egg laying nest and the third one is for the small chickens when you want to breed your chickens so basically the first thing you have to do when you purchase the chicken coop is to feed your chickens because that way they are gonna lay eggs in 24 hours 
and later on you can breed your chickens when they first lay eggs you have the option to collect them for hatching and then the coop will give you the option to buy a rooster and from then you can raise your own little chickens and you can have them walk around your yard chickens are not fully animated so they don't move their heads or anything but the free chickens sometimes uh, change their positions on the lot and I think that's perfectly enough it was not a bummer for me when I started playing with this and I super appreciate this one uh, and you can just raise your little chickens and collect eggs sell them you can also breed the chickens and sell their meat later on if you want I didn't <laughs> but uh, it has a lot of lots and lots of options so if you're playing rural uh, neighborhoods or you love farm type lots then I think this is a must have because it's super detailed it works super well really I just love it and check out the other farm animals related mods from them because they are just super good these would be it a few of my recommendations for functional mods for the sims 2 let me know in the comments if you have any favorite um, functional mods which you use in your game or what is the functionality you would love to see in the sims 2 if you like this video or found it useful let me know in the comments, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye bye!